Enothera, Wikipedia article audio. 145 species in 18 sections, including O. Affinis, O. Acolis, O. Albicolis, O. Arquipensis, O. Argilicola, O. Baia Blanchi, O. Biennis, O. Brachycarpa, O. Caespitosa, O. Californica, O. Canesens, O. Catherinensis, O. Caverni, O. Cineria, O. Calandi, O. Coloradensis, O. Cocambensis, O. Coronopifolia, O. Cordiflora, O. Curtisii, O. Deltoids, O. Deltoids ssp howellii, O. Drummondii, O. Elata, O. Elongata, O. Featherstonia, O. Flava, O. Fraserii, O. Fruticosa, O. Gaura, O. Glossifolia, O. Glagioviana, O. Grandiflora, O. Grandis, O. Harringtonii, O. Hartwegii, O. Heterophila, O. Hexandra, O. Howardii, O. Humafusa, O. Indcora, O. Jamesii, O. Laciniata, O. Lamarckiana, O. Lavondolifolia, O. Lindheimeri, O. Linifolia, O. Longicyma, O. Longituba, O. Macrocarpa, O. Mendocinensis, O. Mexicana, O. Mollusima, O. Montevidensis, O. Nana, O. Nutans, O. Oxiana, O. Odorata, O. Pallida, O. Parodiana, O. Parviflora, O. Pedunculifolia, O. Perennes, O. Peruana, O. Piensis, O. Pilocella, O. Primiveris, O. Pubicens, O. Punny, O. Ravenii, O. Rhombipatella, O. Rosia, O. Ruby nervous, O. Sandiana, O. Santerii, O. Scabra, O. Serolata, O. Siambonensis, O. Sinuosa, O. Speciosa, O. Stricta, O. Stubbe, O. Suffrutescens, O. Taphensis, O. Terragensis, O. Tetraptera, O. Triloba, O. Tubicula, O. Versicolor, O. Villarici, O. Velosa, O. Wolfii, O. Xenogaura, O. Xylocarpa. Description Ecology Origin Genetics Taxonomy Evidence of medical effects Cultivation Gallery C. List of Enothera species Enothera is a genus of about 145 species of herbaceous flowering plants native to the Americas. 
It is the type genus of the family Onagraceae. Common names include evening primrose, suncups, and sundrops. They are not closely related to the true primroses. The species vary in size from small alpine plants 10 cm tall, such as Oa collis from Chile, to vigorous lowland species growing to 3 m, such as O. stubbe from Mexico. The leaves form a basal rosette at ground level and spiral up to the flowering stems. The blades are dentate or deeply lobed. The flowers of many species open in the evening, hence the name evening primrose. They may open in under a minute. Most species have yellow flowers, but some have white, purple, pink, or red. Most native desert species are white. Enotherica espitosa, a species of western North America, produces white flowers that turn pink with age. One of the most distinctive features of the flower is the stigma, which has four branches in an X shape. Enothera flowers are pollinated by insects, such as moths and bees. Like many other members of the Onagraceae, however, the pollen grains are loosely held together by viscid threads, so only insects that are morphologically specialized to gather this pollen can effectively pollinate the flowers. Bees with typical scopa cannot hold it. Also, the flowers open at a time when most bee species are inactive so the bees which visit Enothera are generally vespertine temporal specialists, bees that forage in the evening. The seeds ripen from late summer to fall. Enothera are used as food plants by the larvae of some Lepidoptera species, including the large white-lined sphinx. The flower moth Schenia felicitata and S. florida both feed exclusively on the genus, and the former is limited to O. deltoids. In the wild, evening primroses act as primary colonizers, quickly appearing in recently cleared areas. They germinate in disturbed soils, and can be found in habitat types such as dunes, roadsides, railway embankments, and waste areas. They are often casual and are eventually outcompete by other species. The genus Enotherum may have originated in Mexico and Central America, and spread farther north in North America and into South America. With the advent of international travel, species are now found in most temperate regions of the world. In Europe alone there are about 70 introduced species of Enothera. During the Pleistocene era a succession of ice ages swept down across North America with intervening warm periods. This occurred four times, and the genus experienced four separate waves of colonization, each hybridizing with the survivors of previous waves. This formed the present-day subsection Euenothera. The group is genetically and morphologically diverse and the species are largely interfertile, so the species boundaries have been disputed amongst taxonomists. The pattern of repeated colonizations resulted in a unique genetic conformation in the Euenothera whereby the chromosomes at meiosis can form circles rather than pairs. This is the result of several reciprocal translocations between chromosomes such that the pairing occurs only at the tips. This phenomenon apparently has non-Mendelian genetic consequences with this mode of chromosome segregation and a system of balanced lethal genes, genetic recombination is prevented and the plants display the hybrid vigor of heterosis. This resulted in the evolution of many sympatric races in North America east of the Rocky Mountains. Analysis of the cytology of these races and of artificial hybrids between them increased understanding of the genetic and geographic evolution of the Euenothera. This subject was a major area of genetic research during the first half of the 20th century. 
The appearance of sudden changes in Enothera Lamarckiana led the pioneering geneticist Hugo de Vries to propose the theory of mutationism in 1901. This asserted that speciation was driven by sudden large mutations able to produce new varieties in a single step. The understanding that the observed changes in hybrids of the plant were caused by chromosome duplications rather than gene mutation did not come until much later. Evening primroses were originally assigned to the genus Onagra, which gave the family Onagraceae its name. Onagra onager was first used in botany in 1587, and in English in Philip Miller's 1754 Gardener's Dictionary, abridged. The modern name Enothera was published by Carolus Linnaeus in his Systema Naturae. Its etymology is uncertain, but is believed to be derived from the Greek words omicron nu omicron theta etero alpha, meaning donkey catcher, or omicron iota nu omicron theta etero alpha, meaning wine seeker. Certain Enothera plants have edible parts. The roots of Obienes are reportedly edible in young plants. There is very little evidence for any effectiveness of primrose oil as a cancer treatment according to the American Cancer Society, and neither GLA nor other GLA-rich supplements have been convincingly shown to be useful in preventing or treating any other health conditions. A Cochrane meta-analysis published in April, 2013, found evening primrose oil capsules and borage oil to be ineffective for eczema. Most research indicates that orally administered evening primrose oil does not relieve symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, neither does orally administered primrose oil seem to have any effect in shortening the length of pregnancy or labor. A number of perennial members of the genus are commonly cultivated and used in landscaping in the southwestern United States. Popular species include tufted evening primrose, Mexican evening primrose, and saltilla evening primrose. Annual evening primroses are also popular ornamental plants in gardens. Many are fairly drought resistant. The first plants to arrive in Europe reached Padua from Virginia in 1614 and were described by the English botanist John Goodyear in 1621. Some species are now also naturalized in parts of Europe and Asia, and can be grown as far north as 65 degrees north in Finland. The UK National Council for the Conservation of Plants and Gardens, based at Wisley, maintains an Enothera collection as part of its National Collections Scheme. Enothera macrocarpa Enothera rosea Enothera caespitosa var. Marginata. Enothera stricta ssp stricta. Enothera sp opening. Enothera clandii. Enothera drummondii. Enothera odorata.